Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Today, we are going to make a simple weather station with Vemos D1 board. It's totally a simple project for beginners. The weather station can show date, time, weather and temperature. This video is sponsored by Thomson Electronics. They are the best dealers in commercial supplies of electronic components in India with high quality products and a wide variety of category to choose from. To make this weather station, we will need Vemos D1 board I2C OLED display 3D printed enclosure You can get the STL file for printing from the video description A few jumper cables Rough out the schematics before wiring, so it would be more easier Connect the VCC of the OLED display to the 5V of D1 board. The ground pin of the OLED display to the ground pin of the D1 board. Since it's using I2C communication, we have to use the SEL and SDA pins of the OLED display, connecting them to D4 and D3. Solder every joints properly to get a good contact. Fix the OLED display to the 3D printed enclosure and secure the OLED display tightly with some hot glue. Hide in the VMOS D1 board to the 3D printed enclosure and close the back plate to finish the build. Open the Arduino code, go to sketch, include library and click on manage library we need to install some libraries for that type OLED and install the version 2.20 or 2.1.0 both would work here I am selecting 2.2.0 then click install after that we need to get weather station library click on 2.0.1 then install all. We need to get JSON library. Select the version 6.15.2. Click on install. Go to file, examples and search for ESP8266 weather station. As we can see so many sketches in ESP weather station. We need to take the weather station demo. Slide down until you find the SSID password and username. Type in your SSID password and username. Scroll down until you find Open Weather Map ID. To get the Open Weather Map ID, go to openweathermap.org and sign in. After that, click on the API key and copy the API key from the website. Paste the API key in the codes. Then type in English EN. Go to Tools. Select the board name and click upload. And then you can see time, date, temperature, cloud details and weather forecast for 3 days. This is how you can make your very own DIY weather station. Hope you like it. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.